Hi, and welcome to a look at Garden Buddies. Uh, let me just turn this music a little. There we go. It's a bit loud. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a very, very cute game. Let me just see where did I put that. Actually, I want to read you what this game is about. I can find it. Oh, there it goes. Found it. So this is a very relaxing life simulator. You help Mutsy, this little cute guy. Um, small apple buddy. To get friends, party hard, create a lush garden, build a community, and find inner peace. Have comforting conversations with a wild variety of kind and fun characters. Plant flowers and build structures to make empty garden feel like a home. Or learning techniques to battle stress and anxiety. Where's this game been all my life? See how the garden takes about 30 minutes to fully complete. And the game can be completed with one hand and doesn't require any intense gaming skills. It's a calm and relaxing little experience. And so this game was made for the Mayday Mental Health Game Jam. And uh, the dev's only goal was to make it fun and also to teach players how to better deal with stress and anxiety. So yeah, at least it, it um, teaches you like breathing and grounding and discussing emotions while keeping the game entertaining and cute. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. So it's, you've got different game modes, free build and build mode. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna go to story mode. And I must say, wow, amazing devs. Um, I downloaded it and tried to play it and it had a bit of an issue. I think it's just because of AMD and Ryzen. It's not Nvidia. And they almost instantly put a patch through and it worked. So well done, devs. I am super impressed. It's pretty. Beautiful colors. They work. A lonely little apple. Okay. Oh wow, hi. You're so tall. I'm Mutsy. So happy that you're here. Found this lovely sunny garden spot and invited some people, but nobody showed up. Aww. You maybe want to help me to make new friends and flourish this garden up a bit. If we make new friends, maybe we can have a little dance party. Nothing brings people together like a dancing. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Let me quickly explain how to make pretty things in the garden. Go to tutorial garden. Yes, please. Okay, welcome to a little test garden. Here, I will show you what to do. You can move around by dragging the ground while holding your middle mouse button. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. You can also use your right mouse button and spin around me. If you scroll with your mouse wheel, you can closer or get further. Okay. Amazing job. Now click on the button on the left. To open them Click on the flower. Listen to your garden, you can also scroll your mouse to spin it around. Ooh. You can... What if you want one today? Luckily we can press on the delete button on the top left and remove it. Okay. Now click on the delete button again to stop deleting. 
Flowers, don't worry though, you can keep pressing the seed button on top left to grow some new flowers. Uh, wee, I'm gonna grab them. You can follow me by clicking on me. Uh, and if you're done following me, you can click on the middle mouse button again. Awesome, you did amazing. Now you can build up in our big garden. Go to the garden. Nice. Oh, it's very easy. You don't even need your keyboard, just your mouse. Okay, let's speak. Oh, he's just grabbing flowers. Okay. Ah, you're the best. Hugs. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, so he's gonna just grab flowers. And I guess we need to start planting some stuff and things a swing and a bouquet and a tile Ooh. kinda wanna make um, something here in the middle like a little area we're gonna have a party. <laughs> I thought, what's that egg running around? What's that apple? Looked like an egg for a second there. Let's plant some bouquets. This will be the little dance floor since he wants to do a good dancing. I like the music, it's very relaxing. Not quite the middle, is it? Buddy. Pick some more flowers, please. It's gonna have to make it bigger then. you being here already makes my day so much better. Aww. 
zu tun? That was like seriously not the middle. Wow. I could ever say thank you for all the help you're giving me. When we are done partying, I'm gonna give you the biggest hug ever. Just wake up like this, your eyes are looking so pretty. Oh, can I keep him? Can I keep him? Um, build a swing. What's the rustling in the bushes? Oh, you've got a rustling in the bushes? I don't know. banging noises of a swing set being created. You sure did. I'm trying to make this little garden pop and I thought that might look good. Well little dude you are most right. The wildest of back and forth can be done in a set like this. Great taste my dude. The spot is incredible. The righteous sunbeams shining down upon us. The most relaxing of breezes. This place is crazy zen. Thank you so much. My name is Mutsi, by the way. What is your name? Mutsi, that's a sick name, dude. I'm Bobby. Most people call me red, reddish, but I'm like totally a flower, actually. But I still like not like the name, though. Mm. Well, you're really cool. Hey, I'm throwing a little dance party in a bit for me and my new friend. Would you like to come dance and hang out for a bit? Me? Party? You gotta be kidding me. Of course I'll come, little dude. You seem like most righteous of people. I wouldn't be red, the reddish, if I didn't come. Yay, I'm so excited. The sun's going down. Let's get to the dance garden and bust a move. like a swing party. Okay. We're gonna dance.
Okay. That was amazing. Start over for as long as you want. This turned out to be such a lovely day. I'm really happy that you're here and share it with me. We did so much today. Doing fun stuff like this always gives me so much energy. So at the end of the day, I always like to recount the things I did. To put everything in perspective and to calm our mind. At the start of the day we met and we became friends and we learned how to plant things in the little garden. Then we met Bobby, who is now also a new lovely friend. We had such fun little dance party. We did so much today and I'm so grateful that I have you with me to share all this joy with. Try to cool our minds down now with some breathing exercises. Ever heard of box breathing? It's a really easy technique that helps you calm down when you're feeling a bit overwhelmed. But don't worry, I'm here to guide you through it. Breathe in, hold it in, and breathe out. Hold out, and breathe in, hold it in, and breathe out. Don't make me sleep. Wow, what a day yesterday, but after that lovely night of sleep, I feel recharged and ready to go. Can't wait to see what we're going to pull today. Maybe we will even meet another new friend. I wonder how Bulby is doing today. I hope he isn't too worn out from all the dancing yesterday. Wait, what's that noise? Uh, it's a bat. Oh dear, it's so cute. Are you okay? What happened? Are you okay? They got to my home. I don't know where to find food now. I don't know where to go. I haven't eaten in days. I don't know what to do. Aww. Oh jeez, I'm so sorry what happened to you. Do you maybe want to come to my garden for a bit and maybe figure out a way to help? And stay for as long as you need. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice actually. So what is your name, by the way? My name is Matsi. Hey Matsi, my name is Betty. Pleased to meet you. Thank you, by the way, for wanting to help me out. It means a lot to me. I've already tried to find help with other people, but most people seem to be scared of me. A lot of people just don't like bats, I suppose. Bats are at all. Oh, and no need to worry, by the way. I'm not a fruit-eating bat. <laughs> I wasn't worrying. Your eyes show kindness. But I'm sorry that those other people are mean to you. Don't worry, everyone in my garden is really cool. Wow, this place is stunning. Did you build all of this? Yep, together with my two best friends. We built everything with flowers and love. How about that swing? Oh, with flowers and a whole lot of love. The rope and the woodwork. Flowers and love. <laughs> that is an adorable game. I'm enjoying this. This place is amazing. The warmth and the sunshine reminds me of my old home. Really glad you like it. It is, by the way, okay if I ask... What happened back there? If you'd rather not talk about it, that's fine too, of course. No, it's fine. They cut it down. There were people who wanted to build something else there, and they just cut down my home. Now I don't know where to go, where to get my food, where to sleep, where to live. I'm so sorry you have to go through that. You can stay here for as long as you want. 
Is there anything that I could do for you? Do you maybe like some food or drinks? Or do you want to talk about something? Some food would be amazing. I haven't eaten since I went on the run, actually. Oh, what would you like? Some nice soil? A bit of water? <laughs> no, thank you. I could use some other food, though. Please don't be disgusted, but I actually eat bugs. Bugs? Oh, golly. They only... They usually only take a bite of me. Never had a bite of them before. <laughs> you don't have to hunt them, don't worry. If you just point me in the right direction, I could get them myself. I wasn't going to help you. I was going to help you. Now follow me, let's get you some food. Alrighty. Day for food with my little pink heart shaped. Oh. oh, try not to catch Bulby, it hurts him. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, it's ready to catch. Bobby, go swing, damn it. quick gosh nice tasty continue wow we Mati I I feel recharged I feel revived I feel yeah. somebody looks lost Excuse me, ma'am. Are you lost? Do you need any help? Yes, actually, I'm quite lost. I seem to have taken a wrong turn somewhere down the path. No problem, ma'am. I could take you to a little safe spot where you could re reorient yourself for a bit. Got it, dear, but I've never flown. Oh. <laughs> well, it's the first time for everything. Hey, Betty. Oh, oops. Ma'am, are you okay? Auntie Boletta, is that you? Oh dear, oh dear, no rest for me in my old age. Uh -huh. No, no, it's not even got it in my moss. My gosh, is that you, Mudsy? Oh, hello, Auntie Boletta. How are you doing? Darling, when did you get so tall? Look at that handsome little apple you've become. What are you doing fine besides the mess I'm in right now? I was walking towards Amanita's place, but I'm afraid I took the wrong turn and I got a bit lost. Do you still remember Amanita? She talks about you quite a lot. Oh, of course I remember Amanita. She was the sweetest. I'd love to catch up with her again. I remember all of the forest adventures we had and the dance parties. Of course, we used to be the best of, bestest of buds. Weird that I haven't seen her in a couple of years. But should we maybe clean up, clean you up before catching up, Auntie? We don't have a lot. Uh, we don't have a pond currently, but I could try and make one real quickly. Then we could clean you up. You mean to tell me that this place is yours? Oh my, Mudsy! You've really found the loveliest little neck of the woods, have you now? But a little bath would be lovely, darling. 
Even my cap is muddy and messy. Let's get you cleaned up, auntie. Yes, let's go build pond. Okay. Rock, lilies, tiles. We're doing so well. Look at everything we've accomplished already. Yeah. I honestly don't even know what I'm what flower I'll be when I bloom. Wow, what if I'm a potato? <laughs> then you'll be a potato. Although I love that you help me so much, also make sure to focus on yourself. It's sweet and helpful people like you that makes this garden feel like a family. Stays outside. Okay. okay, plant some more seeds for them to pick up. I can build. Ooh, I can build a pond already. Oh, can I move it? I can't. Okay. Now I can delete it, I suppose. Why is there something I'm missing? Oh, because I put delete on still. She's clean. So yeah, this game is launching on the 20th of October. And uh, I actually got a pre-release game. Thank you very much for that, Debs. Appreciate it. 
And uh, yeah, if you really like or enjoy the content, there is a Steam link below. No, it doesn't look like a Steam link. It's a Lurk link. And if you click on that, it will help the developers see where you got the game from. It'll help me out as well. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. Switch the notifications on if you want to know when I go live or post another video. Okay, so I need to clean her. I think. Oh. Do I not need this? Time to grab the sponge and start scrubbing. Okay. Now I've got to clean her up a bit. The legs and the chin. Because I need to turn her around. Close your eyes. In the shroom. How do I get to your sides? Oh, there we go. It did. She's all clean. Okay, there we go. Slight hiccup. Oh golly dear, I feel rejuvenated, refreshed and reborn. Thank you so much dear. No problem at all auntie, you look amazing as usual, the green on your moss is greener than ever. But thank you dear, don't flatter me like that. Oh, would you look at that, the sun is already going down, I guess we did have a quite a busy day, didn't we? Tell me Mudsy, would you mind if I stayed here for the night? I don't think I could make it in time to Amanita today, tonight, but I could send her a letter and ask if she's interested in joining us here. Or she can stay here. And yay, I would love if Amanita came by. But you're right, auntie, today was a busy day. Let's wind down for a bit. Then I will do that, dear. Thank you so much for the adventurous day today, Mitzi. Wasn't what I expected, but I'm so glad that I found you again on my path. Now go catch some rest, sleep tight, Mitzi, and thank you for this day. Can't wait to see what the next will bring. It's a box breathing. My mom's always taught me that little apples like me should have friends around to help me grow. I always thought she meant bees to pollinate the apple flowers so I could literally grow. But it's also true in this case. I feel so happy and blessed to have sweet and beautiful friends like you around me. And I'm honestly starting to feel happier by the day. Can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. But for now, let's calm down from all this joy and focus on our breathing again. We deserve a little us time after this heavy day. Breathing. Okay, let's get to sleep before I go to sleep.
Day three. I'm so ready for another lovely day with you. I can't remember the last time. I had so much fun with anybody. I really are the best and really lovely person. I don't know anybody else that will help a little apple for three days straight. I'm ready to start another day. But if you want to step away from it or take a sip of water, that's fine too, of course. There's no need to hurry. But if you're ready, I will, of course, follow. Yes. Let's go build. Okay, what are we building today? The pond is... Oh, it's extended. Look at that. Um, let's remove the flowers out of there. Extra stones. Something's rustling in the bushes. We build a house at the back there. Yeah, let's build it there. It's a door. Let's put some more color at least down. And then I will go see what is a rustling in the bushes. What is that rustling? What is it indeed? Oh, this must be the friend Amanita. This looks like Dopey. Please don't hurt me. What? Don't worry about a thing, kid. I wouldn't hurt a fly. So why do you look so angry? It's just my face. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I misjudged you. No worries, kid. It happens a lot. 
Well, this is just the way I like to express myself. Wait, is that a genuine pine cone for me? It's actually really impressive craftsmanship. How did you make that? Uh, thank you. Well, we collected all the flowers and then I gave them my human friend right there. And they made it. Yeah, that checks out. That's so impressive. This place looks so lively and nice. I'm normally not the biggest fan of sunlight, but this sunny spot just looks and feels really nice. I can relate. I love it here. But you can stay here if you want. We're throwing a little party with some friends if you want to come. Good sick. What music are you guys playing? Um, my botanical romance, Paraspore, New Orchid. I don't know any of those bands, but the names are cool. No, just come uh, some easy dance songs. But you don't know my botanical romance? Not even green, hey? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. No, are they any good? You better believe it, kid. I actually bought my guitar. I could play you something. Name's Aspen, by the way. What's yours, buddy? Name's Mutsy, and can you really play guitar? So to learn, kid, let me play you a song called Lonely Acorn on the Ground. Oh, let's go rock with Aspen. Uh, okay, so we're playing guitar here. Sure. Ready. That was a hectic. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was amazing. I don't know, music loud was even legal to make. Did you see how the garden is looking right now? It's starting to look so pretty. And I really love how kind and sweet everybody is here. I'm really having a lovely time with you. I want to want to rock, build, and dance without anybody else. And I really hope you are also feeling good. I'm feeling a bit stressed from all the action though. I think I'm going to do a little exercise where I can focus, focus on my surroundings. This is called the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 technique. And it really helps me to ground myself and calms me down a lot. For this technique, I'm going to name 5 things I can see. Four things I can feel, three things I can hear, two things I can smell, and one thing I can taste. Let's give it a try. When I look around me, I see a beautiful sky, a grassy field, a rock, a great friend, and a pretty flower. I can feel the grass on my feetsies, the wind through my leaf, my stems slightly wobble, and sweat on my forehead. I hear the wind blowing, leaves rustle, and some birds chirping. I smell the smell of slightly wet grass and just a just bloomed tulip. 
And finally, I can taste. Taste of my sweet apple sweat from all the head banging. <laughs> what are you currently seeing, feeling, hearing, smelling, and tasting right now? Can you tell me out loud if you want? You can tell me out loud if you want. Focusing on your sentences. You focus less on stress and chaos, and instead of focusing yourself in the moment, and instead focus on yourself in the moment. I really like doing this because I get pretty anxious sometimes. Anyway, let's call it a day. But first, let's do some breathing exercise to give our brains a little rest. This is really cool. Breathe. Hey, hey, how did you sleep? Any sweet dreams? I had a little dream about a friend I haven't seen in a couple of years. We danced like we were always used to. It was amazing. We should meet again soon. Haven't seen her in ages. Whoever that is, it doesn't sound like they're doing good. Oh my. Let's see if we can help. It's been a stomach some days. It's a bogey. Hello, are you okay? Do you need any help? You look miserable. Sorry, that sounded mean, but I do see that you're not looking like you're the greatest condition, to be fair. Oh jeez, kid. Well, you sure ain't lying. I'm not in tip-top condition currently. I was just trying to get a little snack. Oh, but I think I swallowed the wrong thing. Feels like the insides of my belly are swirling and curling, twisting and turning. What did you try and eat then? I saw the most delicious looking ladybug. But I think I swallowed the whole rock she was sitting on. Why would you ever swallow a rock? I was snackish. Oh, I can't. My tummy is grumbling and rumbling. I think neither the bug, the rock, nor my tummy are happy with me right now. Could you maybe try to get it out of me? It's all very confronting to me. This week has been full of crazy twists and turns. But getting a toad to throw up a rock is completely new territory for us. But yeah, sure, definitely. We would love to help. My name's Mutsi, by the way. What's yours? Oh, my dummy. Hey, Mutsi, I'm Buford. Now, can you please try and get this rock out of me? Sure, but how do you expect us to handle this? Jump on your belly and slap on the back? Make you eat a flower? Some big belly punches would work. Oh, that's so bad. It's really close to popping out. Fine. Don't ever try that in real life. That will most certainly do more damage than anything else. Okay. Okay. I'm beating the crap out of this poor thing. Ouch, going great, buddy. I feel it coming up. Almost there. Okay. Ouch, going great. Oh, there it goes. I think we're getting a new rock in our garden. With a ladybug on it. Poor froggy. 
eating the snot out of him. And we're hanging. You ready? Oh, the rock is alive. Oh, it's not a rock at all. I told you not to come round my bog no more, Buford. And you didn't come proceed to swallow me and my wife whole. Oh, it's his wife. <laughs> you know darn well that the lady here has some food. She might not say much, but golly oh golly, she sure ain't yours to eat, buddy boy. That's between me and the missus, and don't you dare to bring her into this. Why don't you even swallow us? Are you crazy? Accident? Oh, you stinky, dirty toad. Take a little break and blow some steam. You fit, you go in the woods and come up with an apology for this lovely cup. And you, sir, do you have anything you'd like to do in the meantime? It probably seems a bit stereotypical, but doing a bit of rock stacking does calm me down quite a bit. Um, yes. Thank you, kid. Thank you for that. Okay, collecting flowers isn't the easiest work, but I feel like I could do this for years if you're by my side. Is such an angel for helping you. Okay, there was somebody else that wanted to say something. Do you know if the other buddies like me? I have a hard time judging if they like me, but I really like them. Okay, everybody said they say. Awesome. Okay, so what are we building next? Anything new? This on that side. Let's stack some rocks. Ooh, and daffodil. making big changes to the community here, but I think everybody's happy with it. Should hope so. You know what's crazy? That the world has existed for so long, but the eye was planted in the same lifetime that you were born in. That's like so totally gnarly and I'm so thankful for that. Apps, Apple, absolutely love you. Aha, uh -huh, get it? It's a pun, but it's also true. <laughs> it's cute. Gee whiz, this garden is looking fancy about second. I absolutely love you. Okay, let's see if I can plant on daffodil. Oh, 
Ooh, and it's different ones every time. in a trunk. This is slab. But this is cute. And let's go and uh, stack some rocks. Okay, make the largest tile possible. Click and drag to move the rocks and scroll to rotate them. Click plus one to add a rock. Drag them to the bin to remove them. Click and scroll.
No. <laughs> hey Rocky, I have to tell you, friend, but I'm really sorry about what happened. I've just recently gone through a lot of things and I honestly didn't know what I was. It was you, you or your lady. Genuinely sorry for what I did and I will make sure to be more careful next time. You swallowed me and my wife. <laughs> yeah, we solved an issue. If you want, you two can stay here for a couple of days, by the way. It's a nice place and there's plenty of bugs. For Buford and plenty of space in the summer for you two to celebrate your honeymoon. An offer like that and a garden like this should drive a hard bargain for Let me talk this over with the missus. Now shall we maybe find a spot to sleep? That this was a pretty heavy day and I think good night. A rest can be good for all of us. I don't know how that was resolved, but okay. Wow, that was a day, huh? I didn't expect to see all that go down when we first heard a nauseous, a nauseous toad. But in the end, we managed to bring everything back to normal again. And I'm really proud of us. But I'm scared when everything went down and I'm still a bit spooked even though we did fix the situation. I want me to say that if things got heavy, I should give myself happy thoughts by repeating nice phrases to myself. I think she called it positive affirmations. If we repeat these things a couple of times to ourselves, it should make us feel a bit better and safe. Mm -hmm. And safer if if you want to do this with me you can repeat the sentences i say out loud a couple times after i say them okay there's no obstacle that i can't overcome i'll overcome any stressful situation life is lovely and i trust the world to help me live a memorable life i'm unique i'm loved i'm important that was it. It isn't hard to say nice things to yourself once you do it. But it is hard to push yourself to start it. But I think I actually feel a little bit better now. I think I'm getting nice and sleepy as well. 
Yeah, I'm ready to sleep actually. Let's do a little bit of box breathing before we go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Hello? Psst, come here, dude. We've been working overnight for a rocking surprise for Mutsy. While you two were sleeping. No we? It's going to be absolutely rad. That's most certainly going to blow the little apple seeds out of their core. We do need a little bit of help setting up the final bits and bobs, though. Would you be so sick to help us pick some cool flowers? Oh, you're like most righteous person like ever. Some other flowers. Okay. Lady told me she likes your eyes. She's kind. There was somebody else I wanted to say something. Okay, it's you right there. Matsu. Tell me, dear, is it weird if I ask Betty to fly me around again? I haven't felt this rust in ages. <laughs> sure. Dude, you have got to be one of the most righteous people like you. Someone dead for dogs.
Let's see what these two are. Awesome, I like them. Wake your way, you sleepyhead. What? Oh, oh, hey, Bobby. What, what brings you here this morning? Oh, like, dude, when you find out, you're going to freak out. Yeah. Bobby, what's going on here? The raddest of apples deserves the raddest of surprises. A surprise for me? Mati, we want to thank you all for the love, kindness, and fun you have given us over the last couple of days. We love you to your core, and we wanted to give you a special surprise. Look them up. Ew. Caminito! Mati! But we hard. Hey, Matsy, I'm really happy to see you too. <laughs> I don't know what to say, everyone. Lita, you told me you've been doing her for her and everything else here. Wait. Belita told me what you've been doing for her and everyone else here. And do you honestly think that I would skip over the chance to see you again after hearing all of that? Yeah, Matsy, you you're the sickest little creature I know. I like literally haven't met anyone as cool as you. Thank you for showing all the love, dude. Exactly, you're the best kid. Look at everything we made here. This is all because of you. Thank you for showing me kindness. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I would have been in a lot more trouble if I wasn't for you. Thank you for making our honeymoon dreams come true. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being you. I love you, Matsy. But I do think that you know why we built a stage here, don't you? Balita told us about your dance moves and all the dance parties you had together with Amanita. She described moves we had never heard of. She got us all curious, kid. <laughs> we sure knew how to party, huh? How about we show them how we used to do it, like back in the day? Manita, I would love nothing more. Okay, let's go have a dance. Okay, let's do this.
I can't believe how happy I currently am. I don't know how I can ever thank you for all of this. The fact that you went out of your way to help us for so many days just shows how lovely a person you are. You have made new friends and I finally saw my friends again that I haven't seen in such a long time. And I think our garden is complete. We have not only built a garden, but a whole community. Look at this beautiful place that we have made together. I will never forget this place and I will never forget you. You are kind, you are beautiful, you are sweet and you matter. I and many other people are grateful to have somebody like you in our life. I will miss you though, but you will always be with me in one way or another. You can come by any time you want, we will always be welcome here. Thank you for being you. I love you. Thank you for being our buddy. Oh. Hey. Cute froggy. You are loved. Thank you for playing. And thank you guys for watching. This is an adorable little game. I'm so happy I played that. Yeah, so many people uh, suffer from anxiety and stress. I myself suffer from anxiety and stress at the best of times. So yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Don't forget to go and add it to your wish list or download it. It does um, launch on the 20th, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, kindness. Kindness is a very important thing. Be kind to yourself. And I think we always forget that um, we can hurt each other with words. Kindness and compassion are some of the most important things in life. And we would like to thank you for wanting to share your kindness with Matsi and the other friends. You help Matsi live a better life just by being there for them. And you do the same thing for so many people around you every single day. Never forget to be kind to yourself and never forget to plant seeds in your own garden. You are special, you are important, and you mean so much to so many more people than you could possibly imagine. Be kind to yourself. But yeah, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And uh, that is why I'm going to leave this episode. Hope you have a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.